My name is Gregory Jerome. I'm the founder of the Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival and also the founder and CEO of the Elemental Hip Hop Program in Oklahoma City. I created this festival uh, so it could create a highway uh, to connect to other cities and to create new opportunities for other individuals in the hip hop communities regionally and nationally as well as international. I also created this festival for it to be a new vibrant scene for the Oklahoma hip hop community and also to give a new diversity of festivals that's presented here in Oklahoma City. Some of the partners within the Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival were the Paramount, as well as Best Technologies. Then we also had a couple of the sponsors who came along with it. The Wedge Pizzeria was part of it. Downtown OKC was a part of it. We also had a had a lot of donors from the community uh, to be involved in it. We also had Mama Rojas, who was a part of it. I believe the hip hop community came together so they could unite and display the talents that Oklahoma has to offer, including the B-boys, the DJs, the MCs, and graffiti artists, uh, came together actually to unite and put, uh, put the hip hop community on a new platform that's never been in this position before or having the opportunity to display the actual hip hop community of Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival was created on the terms of the hip hop culture. There is a shadow that resides over the culture of hip hop and the history of hip hop that actually started here in America uh, just because of the commercialism of hip hop um, in this day and age. Uh, this was an opportunity for us to actually display the culture of hip hop uh, by uniting the different elements and also by promoting the principles of the hip hop culture. Uh, the four principles of hip hop is peace, love, unity, and having fun. So these are the things that I teach inside of the program of Elemental Hip Hop uh, for the Generation Y so they can understand and comprehend basically what these principles represent and how they can define and identify creativity within themselves to actually help illuminate and propel the true culture of hip hop. So we also teach inside of the Elemental Hip Hop program, we teach about the four distinct elements, DJ, breaking, graffiti, and MC, but also the fifth element was knowledge, which is the most important element, uh, so we can share information with one another. The Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival was pretty much well received and, and for the most part, yet there are still a few setbacks with the, the commercialism of, of hip hop. So there were a few individuals, few companies who actually did not see the vision or totally support the vision at this point uh, to the point that there wasn't anything to actually show them to provide them with anything for his credibility of of the vision of what i was trying to what i was creating basically as an artist because uh, this actually putting this together is a form of artistry like it's, it's it was science there was there was uh, a little bit of resistance or not wanting to jump on board due to the fact of not actually understanding or even envisioning the vision that I was planning to give. The artists that um, participated in the festival actually comes from different backgrounds and different mediums of artistry. It was a very wide range of nationality of the artists who were a part of it. So you had individuals that were Asian descent, Black American, uh, African descent, 
Native American, Caucasian. So it was a very wide range diversity within the artists who took part off inside of the festival and that's what the culture is truly about. And the artists all have the background for the love and passion of hip hop, like pure hip hop. So there's a the connection between all the artists no matter what culture or creeds they come from. It's the connection of hip hop where we actually have this overlay of unison. The feedback from the people who actually attended, had the opportunity to attend the festival, actually loved it. They have never experienced anything like it before as a festival being presented here in Oklahoma, just due to the simple fact of the cultural diversity that was actually represented at the festival. And just the energy and the professionalism, the organization, and also just the imagery of the festival within itself. But the experience alone, it's very difficult to explain because it's something that you actually have to be involved in to really describe it. As a programmer for the festival, curator for the festival, it was much larger than I expected to be. And the response from the people was satisfaction. And that's what we're looking to actually continue to present and bring is pure satisfaction within this Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival. For the volunteers that were involved with organizing the festival, the feedback from them were actually, it was, it was a point where they felt like it was family, they felt like they had a part, they felt like they played a major role in creating history. And that's, that's what we want to give in this Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival. We want to make sure everybody feels like it's wholesome and it's pure and it's positive energy throughout the whole production piece from the smallest person to the head person, like we, we actually want to make sure everybody has a feel that they are appreciated for their contributions, no matter how big or small the contributions are. But we definitely want to make sure we emphasize on those principles of hip hop culture and make everybody feel like it's pure peace, love, unity, and we have fun while we're actually putting it all together. So we, instead of just talking about the principles of hip hop, we actually like to display those and make sure those are effective and make sure they impact the lives of the individuals who play a part in it. So the future plans for the Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival is actually to come back another round and see how we can build upon the shortcomings that we've experienced on the first one and how do we develop and make it keep going throughout the years to come and how do we grow it? How do we make a, a larger impact in the following years? But definitely for the next year, we're definitely gonna look at a lot of adjustments, a lot of improvements, we're gonna minimize some things. There's gonna be uh, a few changes, but it's all for the best through experience and you, you really can't plan for certain things when you put on a festival because you never know what can happen, you never know who's involved. During a, the duration of the process of preparing for the festival, yet there, there are new opportunities available for us uh, because we do have uh, something under our belt and we have something that we can show to people of where this vision is going and what it's going to do for the city, for the community, for the artist, and for the hip hop culture. For individuals who want to get involved with the Oklahoma Hip Hop Festival in 2016, you can visit the website, that's oklahomahiphopfestival.com. Join the mailing list. Um, you can also contact us there, send us an email, and we'll respond to you promptly.